are out here in the woods looking for spadefoot toads. Probably Rhode Island's most cryptic, elusive amphibian. Very difficult to find. We're using a technique called eye shining. You can see the headlamp on my head. We go out after sunset, we walk through the woods, and we use our headlamps, and we hope to come across the glare from the eyes of the toads. And that's probably the most reliable way to find them. They all go to specialized wetland types and they all breed there at the same time. It's very unpredictable when that's gonna happen. And it makes it difficult to even identify breeding wetlands and breeding populations. Spadefoot toads, they're definitely an imperiled species in Rhode Island. Uh, at this moment, we know of just a handful of populations. You want to position the headlamp in between your eyebrows, so like low on your forehead, um, so that the reflection comes back to your eyes. You'll also see a ton of eye shine that's twinkly, and those are spiders. What we'll do, we'll, we'll start over here and then we'll walk back in this direction. <laughs> One minute into the survey, we found a spade foot toad. We're gonna collect some data on this Eastern spade foot toad that we just found. We'll get simple types of data, things like temperature, and we'll get a GPS point. We'll get a length and weight. Nine foot, they have a small keratinized digit. It's hardened that allows them to use it to burrow down into the soil. And it's in the soil where these guys spend the vast, vast majority of their time. They come out at night and basically sit and wait for small prey items, invertebrates, ants, beetles to come along. And when they do, they gobble them up. And that's how they make a living, they don't move long distances from day to day. They're active somewhere between April to October in this part of the world. We can start to learn more about where they occur throughout the state and over time gather information on populations. Spadefoot toes, they're so beautiful, they got big eyes. They cross on the back and they only breathe when it rains a ton. <laughs> Spadefoot toes. 